Hello and welcome. To start this new tutorial, we need to create a new database. We go to New, then select our folder, and name our new database. We want to put Plate mm, Tutorial. Then we click OK to start the program. Under New Model Preference, we click OK. For this tutorial, we need to import our plate. So we go to File, Import, select our plate, make sure that it's parasolid, then click Apply. We click OK in the new window, and there we have it, a new plate. Then we go to Meshing tab, Create Mesh Surface, Type solid, element shape TET, topology TET 10, uncheck automatic calculation. For value, we put 0 0.5. Then in input list, we select our whole solid. Oh, sorry, sorry for that. After we select our whole solid, then we can check apply. And there we have it our new mesh. The next step is to go to loads and boundaries conditions. We go to create displacement nodal. In new set name, we put our name, which is fixed. Then we go to input data, and under the tab of translation, we put zero space, zero space, zero, and then click OK. Then select application region. For this tutorial, we need to select the inner parts of the holes of our plate. So we go to geometry and we select surfaces and face. Then we shift click all the inner faces of the holes. Then click Add, and click OK. Then click Apply. And you will see your clamps for your plate. Okay, next, we go to Loads, Create, Pressure, Element Uniform, and set a new name. In this case, it's Plate Pressure. Input data. Under pressure, we want to put 1,200 pounds of force. Click OK. Then select application region. In this tutorial, the region will be the whole face of our plate. So we select our face, add to our application region, click OK, and click Apply. You will see the force that is, uh, that is being applied to the plate, like you can see there. Then we go to Properties, Isotropic, Create Isotropic Manual Input. In, in Material Name, we put Steel. Elastic model, 30 to the 6th power. Then in poison ratio, 0 0.3, and click OK. And after that, we only need to click Apply. Our next step is to create a solid, uh, solid property. We put create 3D solid. In property name set, we write plate, input properties, and we select our, our, our last property and select application region. And we need to select the whole solid, then add an application region and apply. Then we go back to loads and create a load case. 
this is we click modify this is to make sure that we have all our forces in the right place then click on tell we don't need to click ok for this we go to analysis and method we check analysis deck then in translation parameters we put either and solution type linear then we click apply then we go to Nastran select our folder and take our um, BDF to analyze our plate we let uh, the program run after a few seconds we go to XD B and select the result file select our file that we get from Nastran make sure that is the, the right one and click OK and click apply to see the results to see the results we need to go under the tab of plot erase and erase all our forces then go to results select quick plot select default and go to stress tensor and displacement translation and click apply remember to be in bond, bond misses and we can see our results from the analysis this is the deformed plate after applying a pressure of 1200 pounds go to the form attributes uncheck under the form attributes we want to uncheck on the form and uncheck show title then click apply we can see a cleaner plate so we can appreciate all the deformation